Next question. Uh, are you guys thinking about setting up a, some type of business? Uh, and if so, where it at? Oh, do we need to skip that one too? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's going to be between Gambia I tricked them. Watch what she said. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll be between Gambia and, um, and um, Nigeria. Really? Yeah. Okay, because, you know, we're thinking about also producing movies that tell our story. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're tired of them right, lying and right. saying, you know, we're savages on the continent and right. we're this and that when we're actually we're the heroes of the yeah, planet. Exactly. Yeah, so we need to put our yeah. story out there. And that's what I see lacking. Now, I love Nollywood, but Nollywood don't address our fabulous history. Right as African people and right. and their content is sort of more uh, this is where we are now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You know, suit and tie, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, things of that store, staying in high rise apartment buildings, right. you know, that is, I believe, those are European concepts, right, you right. see what I'm saying? And although, when, although although there, there, there are some Europe channels that, that Focus on like the historical aspect, right. spirituality, yeah. African spirituality, and, and that's what I'm talking they, about. They have those right. channels, but they're not really Big. far in fact. Right. That's what that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like it's, it's it's either pushing two agendas: either you're a Christian or you're a Muslim. Mm -hmm. But there's much more to us than just isolating us into two, two uh, groups and stuff. Yeah. And so that's why I say we want to bring our channel online mm -hmm. and show that hey. You know, we're diverse people and stuff right. like that, you know, so. Um, That's important. It's, it's like, this this, not, this is all mine. Drinking, hmm? He's mm -hmm. not drinking. They're not drinking. Okay. Okay, well, you put it all down here and I'll drink it. <laughs> I'll take some. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you take some, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right now. Mm -hmm. That's good. See, this is my queen. She's a trooper. She's a trooper. Yes, she is. Yeah, but you want to try mixing it with this a little bit? No. Ooh, it is strong. It is, because I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to drive back or you going to drive back. Oh, I guess <laughs> <laughs> So I'll be driving back? No, I'll drive back. Oh, can we put it off? Let me, let me take a quick sip right quick. Yeah, that so, is good. I, I've had these before. Mm -hmm. Have you, you drive uh, I try not yeah, to yeah, do yeah, too much sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really sweet. Really Hold on, guys. It's strong this time. He, he, he had a little crumb right there. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Rick, you all. No, bro. Just, yeah, this one is stronger, though. Just keep me under the table, like Rick. That one is stronger. Just keep me under the table. Uh, that's uh, what we call uh, Ghana. Ghana? Cashew Ghana. Cashew Ghana. Uh -huh. yeah. I love this, man. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. See, why can't you go over here to the bars and say, Give me a, a yeah. shot of cashew cotton. Oh, no. yeah. But it'd be sour you can do it. Huh? It'd be sour you can do it. Yeah, but be sour. Sour, but I'm, I'm like, you know. But you see, this is a Muslim country, so they don't have no alcohol. Huh? Oh, this liquor running around here? But that's that's because we have a lot of you know, In drinkers. drinkers. Oh, okay. Because okay. okay. mm -hmm. I'm like, we need to get this out here, see? Because yeah. right now, as. It's stronger than the last one we had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got the cashew wine, too. Right, I think that's the one you, is that the one you give? Yeah, I think I gave you the green and the white bottle. Mm. No, that's this kind of. Okay, that's the one we got mm. there. Yeah. I just have a drink with you. Oh. Yes. Oh, this is good, guys. Oh, this is good. Cheers, mm. cheers. Woo! Oh, this is at good. The, at, at the bag bar. This makes me mm. sweat. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is good. good too. Huh? Mm. What did Smells you say? Good. No, no, keep your nose over there. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, 
This is good. Yes. When you drink some of this right here, you forget that it's hot. You see what I'm saying? Wow. You forget, you know what I'm saying? You be like, man, I'm in another plane. Another I'm in another, another right? you see what I'm saying? And it's made from cashew, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. And, 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 and it, it, it glides on to, you know, like some is like a bam, you know, yeah. I'm like, yeah. drunk. Yeah, I got, I got it, this. It, it, it glides in on you. This wow. is a clear, but I also have uh, the cashew liqueur. The cashew liqueur. And it's brown, you know, it's. No, I don't think we've seen uh, that one. No, you didn't see that one. Mm -hmm. So you're still making new products then? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I just got from Dr. Lemon like a week ago. Wow. Oh, still making there. new products. Let's got see. some guy I wanted to buy. He wants to, 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 to make a, a $12 million futures. A $12 million futures? Uh -huh, on 100 mm. kilos of cashew each month. Wow. So I told him we only have 32,000 kilos, so how many months he want? Yeah. I told him for six months, we only do six million dollars. And for the other six months, we'll do the other six million. Wow. But you have to be satisfied with the first six months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. See, there's no sugar in the cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no it's sugar. Are you serious? It's made like from the uh, cashew. Cashew. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. So you are the man then. Yeah, I got you. Mm. Now he makes over. 50 di different products from the cashew, you know what I'm saying? Now see, are, are cashews in mm -hmm. Nigeria? Sure, we do. See, here, mm -hmm. they just want the nut. Mm -hmm. right. And the rest is right. rubbish. Yeah. He says no. He, used the he takes that apple mm -hmm. and turns right. it into different stuff. Nigeria is one of the big cashew producers. Yes. Yeah, so Nigeria? We have, yeah. Yeah. Wow. We, have we have cocoa, we have cashew, name them. Wow. We have a lot. Yeah. This is and then? the book on mm -hmm. the products that we make. And, 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 if you don't mind, sh show that to the camera right quick. We, you know, we always try to promote this book, and we do promote this book. The original cashew fruit cookbook with uh, uh, 15 ways 45 to... 45 ways to cook. 50, yeah, 45 ways. And please tell them how to order this book in the event that they want to order it. Please tell our viewing audience. Well, you can get this book. They still can't see you, doctor. <laughs> she ain't going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Okay, no, go ahead. Not him. He, he no, we got. Uh, uh, he don't have nothing to worry about. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> old man like me. Hey, I'm, okay. Yeah. What? You want to see? Okay. I said, old man like me. Oh, if I'm not finished, I'm Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you, you can order the book on uh, Amazon.com. Okay. I think it's about. Six or seven dollars on Amazon.com, but if you buy it in the Gambia, it's more expensive. And if you buy it in the market, the bookstores or wherever, it would be a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. They run about twelve to fifteen, sometimes forty dollars. All right, but uh, you know. Now, now okay. some of those people want to know how they can reach you now, because see, a lot of people come through us in uh, yeah. the Gambia and say, "Hey, how do we get in touch with exactly. Dr. Balau?" But uh, see, right now we're so close to Dr. Balau, we're like maybe five yeah. or ten minutes. Oh, you may go get you a chair. I can go get you a chair. No, I can get it. No, let me go get that chair. Uh, tell them how to get your contact information. How do you get in touch with you? Okay. Yeah, guys, like I was saying, right now, in terms of proximity, we're very close to Dr. Uh, Bilal. Our compound is maybe like, what, five or ten minutes away yes. from him? Mm -hmm. So when we drift off and move out to C4 like we're planning to do real soon, we'll be like maybe 30 to 45 minutes away. And so it won't be as easy as it is when you guys come into the country to say, hey, can y'all take me to see Dr. Bilal? So here's his contact information if y'all want to bypass us. Uh, when we move out to C4 or still continue to contact us and we'll get you in touch with him. So please give me your contact info. Yeah, if you contact me, you can contact me, uh, Dr. Bilal Robinson. I'm on, my email is B-I-L-L-A-L-L-E, Bilale97, at gmail.com. So that's B-I-L-L-A-L-L-E at uh, gmail.com. If you're in Gambia, you're in Kotu, you can find me very easily in Kotu East. Just ask for the cashew fruit cake man. <laughs> yeah. They know me mm -hmm. because I'm the only cashew fruit producer of any cashew fruit products in the Gambia. Right. And we have cashew ice cream, 
-hmm. Cashew wow. cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Cashew sweet potato pie with a uh, recipe from down south that my mother granted me before she passed. And then we have cashew chocolate, cashew wine, cashew liqueur. Yeah. We have uh, yes. oh. cashew chocolate. <laughs> Uh, cashew cake, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, cashew vinegar. We have we have cashew soap for taking a bath, and the soap is very important for us because it's one of our products that we're trying to market internationally. I got a lady coming in; she wants to buy or uh, make a contract for cashew fruit cake uh, soap because the soap is a. Uh, it kills bacteria on the skin and it's a mosquito repellent. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are interested in buying it and taking it back to Europe or to America. Mm -hmm. We welcome all of the people who come in, look for me, Dr. Bilal. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've been in Africa for 34 years. Wow. I started mm -hmm. in Guinea-Bissau and that's my, my fatherland. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a conflict there and I just got tired of running around and the, the powers that I was working to be uh, were exported, were deported, and were exiled from the country. So I left, and I came to Gambia, and I've been in Gambia since the year 2000. Wow. And uh, we have a, a factory in Dar Salami, North Bank, that we are hoping pretty soon to get the facility built so that we can put the equipment in and we're sort of running behind because the electricity in that region is slow, but it's, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Once we get electricity, we'll be able to run our mixers, we'll be able to run our grinders, we'll be able to run all of our equipment. And um, we're hoping to get a $5 million grant to buy the equipment and to employ about 600 people to make our ice cream, to That's make huge. our vinegar, mm -hmm. to make all of our products because we're going to expand. Okay. Y'all gonna drink that? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? No, yeah, no, go ahead, wipe this sweat off. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ain't sweating. No, no, that's good know. though, that's good. No, okay. That's good. You interrupt Dr. Balai. Oh. <laughs> hey, nice. he talking to 50,000 people, keep talking to them, don't mind them. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All over the world, you know what I'm saying? Because they always say, hey, where's Dr. Bilal? You know, what's going on with Dr. Bilal? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, here he is, guys. And we're so creating that. we're creating on an average of, of one or two products a month. Mm -hmm. We just got, uh, the last thing we made was a cashew fruit pumpkin pie. Mm. And we had a cashew fruit uh, uh, black cheesecake, and then wow. we have the cashew fruit mud cake. It's the, the icing on the cake is like mud. It sticks on your fingers when you grab the cake, and it's very good. And uh, we make all of it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, the last time we got together, you said that you need, uh, needed uh, some additional towing capacity, and I pledged that, yeah, I could come in with a 10, wheel truck to help go out mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. villages yeah. and find these mm -hmm. uh, uh, cashew apples and take them to Dar es Salaam or mm -hmm. wherever, yeah, wherever to process. Is that still valid or that's no longer No, that's, needed? that's valid. That's still needed? Yeah. And I see, still pledge that to you. Yeah, and, 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 and the season begins around February. And by that time, next February, See, the pandemic got us all screwed up this year. Right, yeah, yeah that's it true. It got us all mm -hmm. disoriented. That's right. All, we could, all we could do, we, we've got 32,000 kilos mm -hmm. of cashew that's cooked, mm -hmm. that's processed, and we have it in storage. Uh -huh. So uh, whenever we need cashew, we bring, go and get it. Okay, then. Bring it out of our storage. Gotcha, then. Okay. And let me, let me, let me just uh, quickly <coughs> get a... Uh, something just to show the public what the cashew looks like once it's processed. Okay, no problem, okay. no problem. All right, no problem. All right, so uh, let me ask you now, you say that you're a producer, I'm jumping back and forth, back and forth because, you know, nothing wrong with multitasking, mm -hmm. stuff, right? Uh, do you do comedy sketches or you're more like melodrama or, I mean, you know, when you're writing your plays? Comedy. 
You're more like comedy? Yeah. Wow, because we like comedy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay, gotcha then. Keep okay. you in life. Um, lots of nerves watching. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Wow then, all right. Have you uh, ever been to any other countries besides Nigeria, where you're born, and the Gambia? I've been to Uganda. Uganda? Mm -hmm. Uganda? Mm -hmm. Wow, what was Uganda like? Uganda is nice. Um, is it really? People are friendly. Uh -huh. Okay. They're just um, welcoming. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to the market sometimes and I just think I couldn't get my way back home and somebody oh. was just there asking, where are you going? Mm -hmm. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. And then she put me in the bus and I got home. Wow, Without very friendly. Ticket. Yeah, they are friendly. Wow, okay. It's nice in Uganda. Okay, got you, Dave. Got you, Dave. All right, it's back to you, Dr. Bilal. This is the cashew fruit, okay? Process. Yes, All right. Yeah, right here. And can you tilt it toward the, the viewers? Now, you know, every time we get together, Dr. Bilal, uh -huh. you know, every time we get together, you're talking to an additional 10, maybe 20,000 people. Okay. So, so don't feel like you're being redundant because no. you're talking to a whole new bunch of people. Okay. So a lot more calls about to start coming in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this so is, is, this is like. the cashew dough. Mm -hmm. or the cashew fruit. Once we cook it, we process it. Once we grind it, we cook it. And you cook it for 32 hours. Wow. Because this way, this cashew can last up to 10 years. 10, and decade. what I'm showing you is cashew fruit from 2012. Mm -hmm. And it's what these cakes are made from. These cakes, these cashew cakes, are made from this cashew dough that's 10 years, that's about 10 years old. This one here? Wow. Yes. Let me, this is 10 years old? Yes. Wow. Let me see what this tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is fresh. Yes. You sure this is 10 years old? 10 years. Mm -hmm. The dough. Okay. The dough. The dough. Yeah. The dough. But what we did, we just refreshed it. This is... It's all. Yeah. <laughs> Break you off the hooks. <laughs> so it was like, take a bite. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry, man. Hey, come on now. You when you wanted to get together with me, you knew this was going to happen. You always had me cracking up. I'm just saying, now y'all should know. It's okay, I'm fine. Okay, it. okay, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, Dr. Bilal. No, no. And I'm no. sorry, bag family. I'm sorry, okay. It's good too, guys. Well, I, I retain myself. Okay, please finish, Dr. Bilal. I swear I won't interrupt you again no, in no. a near 10 seconds. No, you <laughs> 10 seconds. No, it's perfectly okay. So it takes about... Uh, 10 years to get it to that level right there. Yeah, because what it is is that we've, we've developed a process where we don't use sugar for any of our products because when we process the cashew fruit, we control the acerbic and the gallic acid that's in the cashew fruit. And when we make our cashew soap, we get the cashew fruit that has fallen to the ground and has dried and we grind it and we use it in our soap. Mm. Soap is good, I bought it too. It's mm -hmm. good on your body and it's also a mosquito repellent and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people are buying it. We're selling a lot of soap. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever we get our, you know, our pandemic over, we will produce more soap and we'll produce a varieties of soap with cashew because, you know, the sky's the limit on what you can do with the cashew fruit. Mm -hmm. And in Gambia, we're losing about 320 million metric tons of cashew fruit a year. Oh, wow. And if you can see the cake, the ice cream, and all of the other products that we have, you know, you can get an imagine of what the, what the universe could be if you were using the fruit for all of these different products. I have uh, uh, cashew bread. We make sinful, we make it with our uh, and I'm speaking of cashew, but I must remind the viewing public that whatever we do in cashew, we also do in mango. Wow. Mm. But since the cashew fruit is, nobody's doing anything with the fruit. And there are lots of companies and countries doing different things with the, with the mango. We focus more on the fruit, but we also do, you know, we do mango pepper soup, we do mango chitin chutney. We do mango pies, mango cakes, 
we do a marriage between mango and cashew mm. for cake. And, uh, That's good. Mm -hmm. and you also do, besides the cashew and the mango, you also have vegan cuisine out there too, don't you? Yes, we do so, have. Uh -huh. so, yeah. you know. We have pizza, cashew mm -hmm. pizza. Right. And Ricky, I remember <laughs> <laughs> when Ricky and Cynthia came the first time, <laughs> we had the cashew pizza for them. Yeah, yeah. That and man. Mm, that was delicious, guys. Yes, it was good. You know. I like to eat now, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I like and, to eat. And, and, and you know, uh, we have uh, all of the African dishes, binichin, domoda, stew. Uh, we all, we all, we do the, all of that, all of the African dishes in cashew, or we can do it in mango. Okay. And, uh, let me just get something. Oh, oh, okay, now, and I want to uh, ask one thing too. Now the the, uh, the the restaurant is still operational, right? Yes. Okay, because <laughs> one time we came down, we went. How about the bar? Because we tried to locate you at the bar one time, yeah, and we right. couldn't find you. Mm -hmm. You know, you go down to the beach, and saw the, the your bar down there. Uh, yeah, the is that bar. still operational too? Yes, it's still operational. We went down and we couldn't find you, so we didn't know where to go. We didn't know where to go. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what about people in the Gambia? I don't want to get all this you're mentioning. Where can they go to? Well, the Gambia. Yes. They know Koto East, okay. and then the, my my telephone number. Just one, if you want to call me from a distance. No, no. Do we want to uh, put that out as far as your personal okay. number? Maybe it might need to be emails, like a but, like a what you call that thing? Uh, WhatsApp. A WhatsApp number. Yeah, what's up? Because we do have some haters now. Okay. Because you know we you know whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying. Yeah, my WhatsApp number is two two zero. Nine nine eight nine zero five three, and you can reach me on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. right. and uh, I'll respond to your questions. I'll entertain your 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 interest, and if like I say, if you're coming to Gambia, make sure you you find someone. Check it with Rick and Cynthia; they know where to find me. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're in if you're in Senegambia, if you, well, I have a popular name. Mm -hmm that a lot of people know me and I've been around a lot of times and since I'm, I'm, I'm more of a loner, people recognize you best because they don't ever see you with anybody. Mm -hmm. They know my name and I never know theirs. Right. Because they say, who is that guy over there? That's Bilal. Yeah, that's right. And mm -hmm. the next time I see them, hey Bilal, how you doing? I say, hey my man, I see, you know. I don't. Who are you? It's, <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. Now, some people might not uh, speak English, but you know, you speak a variety of languages, right? Yeah, so, I can speak Mandinka so, and Wolof. So they don't have to necessarily be English speakers because you right. speak Portuguese too, right? I speak right? Portuguese, wow. I speak so, Spanish, I speak German, I speak really? Italian, I speak Greek, so I speak Russian, right. I speak Japanese, mm -hmm. and I read and write them. So, yes. so wow. uh, just so you guys know, right? English, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right now, you get ready to. Go and show us something additional before I interrupted you. Yeah, right. let me let me go and get something and then I'll show okay. you back. All right. All right. Genius, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, the, first the first time I saw your video, he just he just amazed me. Yeah. 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 He took us to Guinea Bissau and stuff. So uh, people always ask us, hey, you know, Hey, can you take us to go see him? And mm -hmm. you know, we do that and stuff until you learn how to get here yourself. And right. Right. So next time you come, you yeah. can bring your own crew and you know, just exactly. come straight here and stuff. So exactly. that's the way that is. So, all right. Um, moving right along, sweet mama. Uh, eat them okay. Don't eat them okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's no sugar in there. <laughs> so don't get worried. That's what he said. It's not, it's not, but. Mr. Okay, that's it. No more, no more. If you want it. No, 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 that's it. I'm not going to give any more then. All right. Now, have I asked them all the questions that I wanted to ask them? I don't know, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't give it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I just... I don't know if you can... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I know. I don't know if you can see this, but this That's is the menu. This is our menu for the restaurant. All of the ambient dishes we have with cashew, and our specialty is chicken or fish mm -hmm. marinated in cashew sauce or mango sauce. Mm -hmm. We grill it, 
or we can smoke it mm -hmm. for you. And uh, with that, we also have orders. We have pizza. Pre-order, so they can order before they come to the restaurant. You can order before you come to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the important thing is, is that we have drive-by takeaway. Drive-by. Even during the pandemic, you can drive, you can call in the number uh, 9989053 for Gambia. Call in, make your request. We give you the menu. When you get here, your food is ready. We just pass it out the window to you. You don't have to even get out of your car. Gotcha. So we have that. Good and, deal. And we also have uh, the local juices. We have pure cashew juice. We have mango juice. We have bisap, baobab, lemonade, tea. Dita? Dita, uh, Dita. Dita, you have Dita too? Dita, yeah, okay. we have Dita, we okay. have Dahar. And we have... Uh, There's a new one that I want to introduce you to. It's called Lincoln. Okay. That is a combination of a cherry and a strawberry. Okay. We have about 30 of those trees growing on the land. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee, man, you've never tasted anything like that. Yeah. They're called Lincoln. Okay. Lincoln, you know, it's a little... A little cherry with a little seed inside mm -hmm. of it, and He's I mean, it, it is delicious. The Lincoln, okay, it's called Lincoln, and so mm -hmm. anyway, maybe something like a big seed like that with yeah, yeah, orange, orange like seed a, inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we call in uh, in Creole. We call it uh, mandipula. Mm -hmm. Mandipula. Uh, mandipula. Ah. Well, it it's is like a, it's like a cherry and a. Cherry. Mm -hmm. and it is delicious. Sweet, very sweet. Yeah, and, and, and they sell them here. It shouldn't sell it now. But but they don't make a juice out of it. No, it's not. what I'm saying. No, but no, <laughs> not here. But in Bissau we make a juice. Oh, oh juice out of it. Yeah, and uh. and, and in Bissau we have another. Uh, it's a bean uh -huh. okay. that has a yellow chalk inside. It's dry. Okay. We call it faroba. Mm -hmm. But in that you can make a juice also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm interested in making the juice. And then because we have uh, you know that small thing like that, uh, fully. The small, it's like a little seed. You said 40? Foley. Oh, I thought you said like 40 ounce. No, 40. <laughs> okay, then. It's, it's, it's brown with a, like a fur around it. Yeah, we seen that uh -huh, here. I yeah. think that's here. It got yeah. fur around it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, man, I can't eat nothing like that. No, 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 not this, but that's, the, that's the color. <laughs> that's the color. You have to open it up. You saw it here. And inside. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> No, no, up, that's you. Like, you, man, that is no. you. No, that's you thinking that way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I know you, Rick. No, you man, you, man, no, that's you. That is you. He said fur around, he don't want to. Right. Rick off the hood. No, that is you. I'm not thinking like that. Okay, Rick. Go <laughs> ahead, <laughs> doctor, please. Yeah, but, uh. See, when people come in from America, man, they think it's different. You see what I mean? <laughs> They don't think the way we do on the continent. <laughs> no, okay. Sometimes we have to reorient. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're out of them. Go, go this way. Go this way. Wow. Is it this talking? Hmm? Is it this or no? No. Okay. <laughs> Take another yeah, second. That's a conversation, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, you're right, though. You're right. So yeah. please continue, doctor, because I mean, this guy, he keeps interrupting me. <laughs> It's the spirits. <laughs> the spirits, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is so mellow. I want like this to interfere with you. Like if you drink it at night, right before you go to bed, it'll keep you up or something like that. I was just curious. What do you think? I don't know. Okay, we'll move right along. I don't know if that was a trick question or not. Come on, sweetie. This the market. Pinot John. What is it called? Cashew John. Cashew John. He made it. Yeah, he, he makes it too, I think. Cashew John at the store. Does he make it? Like we, I think, yeah, because anything that has to do with cashew, he says. Right, he right. Made it. Yeah. But so you know, I really. so good. Yeah, and, 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 and I, I want to push him to do more. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. To do more because right it's now. It's a great job. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This. We want to get past the financing, the financing mm -hmm. issues, you know, because right. that's what holds us back right. from oh. great businesses is financing. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I'm not Dan Goatee yet. 
Yeah. So you know, you know, we want to come in here, help brothers and stuff, you know, you know, out and stuff, you know. Oh, this is the ice cream. Now, this is delicious here. Are you, are you acting now, or mm -hmm. this is really you? This is... Oh, I need another one. Hey, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. It is? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How y'all like it? Oh, it's okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> put, it, put it in my mouth too, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't care what y'all thinking out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> This this is our uh, cashew ice cream. Seriously. <laughs> and uh, they have had it and tasted it. And... Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. So let me ask you now, is this coming from the 10 year uh, mixture that you had or so. this is something that you can make just like that? No, this is coming from the concentrate. Oh, okay. Because, you know, we take the cashew juice. Cashew, ju cashew juice has... Cashew juice has three, three marketing principles. Number one, you can get vinegar from it. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can get wine from it. And number three, you can get the pure juice from it. Okay. So to get the pure juice, you have to concentrate it. Like, you know, in America, we get orange juice. And, like that. Yeah, you know, okay. it's frozen. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, we uh, mix it with water. And you know we get a, a juice. Yeah, it's like it's like this. This is with cashew juice, pure juice with right. concentrated. Because uh, right. I know I always come here and I always beg from you this cashew juice that you make, mm -hmm. and you always say you know that's the only one I got and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. So, what you're so do you have some now? Or? I'm gonna I'm gonna get some. Okay, then. The only thing is, is that this thing just stop. Right, slow up everything. Right, yeah. Yeah. that's what the colonial virus would do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, right. You, you remember the, um, the ice cream thing they make like down south in the churn? Oh yeah, that's yeah. what that reminds me. Yeah, of. that's mm -hmm. it. Exactly this is how we make this. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, a lot of the stuff we make is from my knowledge of, of things we get down south. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, especially all of the recipes in that book are from recipes that my mother and my aunts. Passed on to you. Passed on to me. Because right. mm -hmm. okay. I was one of the kids who always hung in the kitchen, just mm -hmm. watching them mm -hmm. do this and that. Being observed. Yeah. yeah. And, and the way we preserve the cashew fruit is that we, it's an old formula that, you know, down south in America during slavery, in the wintertime, you couldn't grow anything. Right. So you had to preserve, you preserve it. it. And right. you had to preserve it up to that next year. Right. And the slave man, I always said the slave man, he'd starve to death if it hadn't been for the slaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. He didn't know how to plant anything, yeah. he didn't know how to grow anything. Right. Still don't. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and he was dependent on them eating and giving, you know, over right. something to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, basically the canning industry came out of the slavery because right. mm -hmm. we didn't have tin to make cans. Mm -hmm. We used all jars. And... Uh, uh, the jars are better preservative than the tin anyway, mm -hmm. because uh, once you keep it, and and then we, uh, once we process the fruit, you know, you, you use, the, the ingredients that we use to process the fruit, which I don't mind saying, is like welcome competition. Is that we no, we don't want to help them. Hmm? We don't, we don't want to help them. We don't mind competition, but we don't want to help them. No, no, no. I'm not okay. saying we want to help them. Oh, okay. Then. They got to buy their own. You know, you gotta, yeah, that's cool. We don't want to help them. You yeah. got to do your own uh, research and all the other experiments. Own research, and, you know, yeah. 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 Everything, you know. yeah, we don't want to help them. Because we always say, hey, <laughs> we, we, we'll tell you how, to, tell you we'll tell you how to do it, but we won't tell you. The, 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 this is you know, how. We right. won't tell you the. The, the gradations on how much you use, how much yeah. this you use, how much of that you use. Right, you know. there you go. And it's a very extremely complicated thing because that's why I say you have to cook it 32 hours mm -hmm. so that so that the that the acids become mm -hmm. fructose. Mm -hmm. The acids become fructose rather than sucrose. Mm -hmm. But you knew, you use you have to use sugar, mm -hmm. raw sugar, and you have to use salt, mm -hmm. and you have to use sodium bicarb. And 
and you have to use a, a, a type of cornstarch, a, a starch, mm -hmm. I won't say corn or potato or whatever mm -hmm. kind of starch, because that gives the cashew body. Right. Because you can cook it, it'll just be like a soup. Mm -hmm. But once you cook it and the water evaporates out, right. and, the, and, the, and the gases evaporate out, then you can preserve it. Now last week I was in Dar Salami. When we have our cook, all of this is cooked. But when, when, but when it's, but when you get a bubble on the top of this, it means it got air in it. Uh -huh. So you have to let the air out, put sugar over it, and close it, because uh -huh. the sugar will reinvigorate uh -huh. the acids. Okay. And make it fresh. Uh -huh. So when we ship something out, we tell the, 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 the recipient. So when you get it, you open it, mm -hmm. and cover it. You use it and cover it. Layer, put a layer of sugar on it and close it, okay. because that will keep it. That will, be, that will start the acid chain reaction again mm -hmm. with the fructose and sucrose, and you know, it's, you know, we'll you make got the science down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can, can I ask you now? Um, well, I'm a scientist. No, I know <laughs> yeah, that. He is, he is a scientist. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. So, so. Uh, what is the turnaround? Let's say if somebody puts in an order to you. Mm -hmm. now, I know we got the pandemic going on now, mm -hmm. but let's say if somebody puts an order into you and say, "Okay, I want the cashew juice, or I want the ice cream, and I want X quantity." What's the turnaround of getting that product to the customer? Depends on where the customer is. Let's say right here in Gambia and Sipo. No problem. <laughs> so, be, be, because, because we want to set up something where we sell stuff that only Africans make. Yeah, so if right. Africans don't make it, mm -hmm. we won't sell it right. on our land. Uh -huh. Because you what you what have in your problem, your product, that we will supply you with everything with a whole range because right. that's, that's where, they, if you can't get it here, going there right there yeah. so there you go so you yeah. got mm -hmm. a little uh uh regional distribution, distribution centers yeah. around that so. we don't have now right exactly and the reason i don't have it is because i'm not going to trust them right i understand i understand but you i trust right with Thank my you, eyes Dr. closed <laughs> yeah and you know uh people that i'm sending it out of the country to you don't know them they, you don't know them exactly they're on their own right. you just have to give them the right instructions right about what they're doing. okay yeah, yeah. And well, since you know it's not going to spoil, mm -hmm. it's not going to spoil. I mean, right. cashew, those acids, re, re, uh, uh, those acids, forces it to be fresh or refreshed. Okay, okay. gotcha. And, Dan. You know, gotcha. Dan. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And uh, the, you know, one guy in uh, Texas, he he he. Found you all on back. <laughs> Call me up. He says, "Look, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm in. I got a. Uh, I'm trying to set up a cashew product in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And he says that uh, we have money. I have, I have sizable amount of money. To yeah, I remember the guy. Yeah. I remember it. So he says that uh, uh, he got my information from you all. Right. He called me and he says, you know, I need a consultant." Would you want to work as a consultant? I said, yeah. And so I said, uh, uh, I will work as a consultant to help you set it up. But I said that uh, I want to work on a six-month contract. Mm -hmm. And a six-month contract is going to run you about $2.5 million. It is what it is. And Because uh, mm -hmm. we're giving away a, you know, a ton of information. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Did he, he disappear? No, he didn't have any problem with that. Oh, okay then. He's waiting for me to send him. He says his wife wants to make these products in the book. Uh -huh. So, uh, and I was explaining to him that when we wrote the book, we, we didn't have the clear vision for how the process would work, but now we know. And in the book, you will see a lot of sugar in there, and the, you know, adding sugar, but right. you don't have to add sugar anymore. It's, you mm -hmm. know, but I got a sequence of that coming out sometimes, hopefully. Well, keep the patent. Yeah. Keep oh, yeah, the patent. Yeah, yeah, I got the patent. Yeah. I got the patent, the copyright. And yeah, the then you go keep that. that. Keep yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the Library of Congress for the book, mm -hmm. where they can't copy anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Doctor. You know Sesame Street, do you remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on that program. That's where I remember you from. He told me that. He, yeah. he said he remembered you from that. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was always wondering what happened to you. That's yeah. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's, so that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing.
funny how the world is connected. You, you lose sight of somebody, and then bam, they right, come right back right into right the picture again. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think that's unique and stuff. Amazing. So, um, now, Doctor, I know you're very busy. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not today. You know, oh. today is Saturday. Uh, yeah, Pandemic. Uh, okay. Mass, you know, walking yeah. around like the Long Ranger all day. That is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah. So, right. I, I just didn't want to take up all your time because no, I know no, no. I, they might have some other activities. Mm -hmm. Now, again, mm -hmm. y'all going to finish that drink right there, man? <laughs> Okay. I mean, come on, y'all got two. Y'all, come on, y'all got two of them right there. Y'all gonna get, drink a get it ready. I'm just go, saying. Go ahead, Rick. You know which one y'all not gonna finish, man? Because you 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 I'm gonna mix it with this. See? Okay, mix it. Go ahead. You good? I don't want you to say, man. Rick kind of tacky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I already know you, Rick. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. I'm just saying now. You know? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that mix is good. It does, man. It does. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, what's wrong, with school? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is really delicious, guys. This is really delicious. And it's, it's, it, every time we, we come here and you give this to us, it's hard to explain to them what this tastes like. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's not in America. It's not. You see what I'm saying? You can't find it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we still got people coming on the channel saying, what's a cashew apple? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, and I always tell them, I say, it's a mix between a pineapple mm -hmm. and a peach. I agree. Mm -hmm. Green. And the pineapple is the astringent, that, that bite taste. Yeah. And the peach is that soft, mellow mm -hmm. taste. And, you know, that's how we, that's, with that formula, that's how we created uh, all of this stuff. You because so good. Because, yeah. cause like, I didn't, I didn't have no idea what a cashew fruit was. See what I'm saying? Until I saw this one eating it. For real? Yeah. Nigeria, yeah. Wow. Nice. I asked him what's that. I'm like, you don't have it in the U.S.? No, yeah. we don't. No, and he no. said, no, watch me. Just in that. I saw we was like, to him, I was like, no, watch me eat it. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> it just was so juicy. Yeah, yeah so juicy, right. Yeah. yeah. We had this couple come from America. Shatara. And we said, Shatara and Steve. Yes. And we said, we took them to one tree. Mm -hmm. And every time we passed the tree, man, they she said, stop. She wanted to get out the truck and just get them. And I was like, I ain't mean to get you addicted, but I mean that. They are good. Indescribable. I see, we have a lot. Yeah, yeah, see, but these people they don't have a, they don't have a clue in America. No, you see what I'm saying? It's like the garden eating out here. Yeah. I, I didn't know, know the street needs. I didn't know what the cashew actually came from the tree. Mm -hmm. Then look up with a fruit on it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's either. what he said. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Me either. That's what they tell me in America. She said cashew. They don't know. She said this is cashew. I said it looked like a fruit. What you mean cashew? Yeah. Then I told him this is what you buy. The yeah, no, yeah, that's it. And me, so oh, I'm so 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 the thing is the, the nut comes, and, and the, on the tree, the nut comes first. Yeah, right. yeah that's right. And then the fruit comes. That's right. Yeah. I actually, mm -hmm. when I first got here, tried to open it and then, oh, I'm telling you, it burned. It burned. I did that in Bissau. My whole mouth was burning for months. Yes. And then, and I was like, okay, you know what? I thought I was going to get some nuts. You know what I'm saying? She tried to cook the nuts. Put them in the oven. <laughs> uh, with all that gas, yeah, yeah. 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 almost. I didn't know. We didn't so know. I want to ask. None of that. Mm -hmm. Aside from the fact that you're about to put up something very huge, what about training people? Like, let them run in training. The pay for it because this is. So no, we have, we, we have we've, we've been working since 2006. We have a factory. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we That's use the well. children okay. in the village. Because for me, I didn't want to set up a corporation. I didn't want to do that. This is too much. You and I didn't want to too. set up an NGO because an NGO, for me, is nothing going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's, it's, it's foreign money coming into the gambling. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's under scrutiny. It's control, yeah. Yeah, it's under control. So I said, for me, the best way to go, tax-free, mm -hmm. harassment-free, mm -hmm. and everything else, is for a community-based organization, a CBO. CBO. Mm -hmm. Once you have a CBO, you're free. The government won't bother you. No municipality will bother you. Mm -hmm. Nothing because what you're doing, you're creating. And see, we are we are a CBO, but our our thing is we are a CBO for food security. This is what we're trying to do: create food, new food products out of the cashew fruit. Right. We're trying to reduce the spoilers of cashew fruit each year and convert it into food. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you create employment. Right. Exactly. You create, you create a, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, technical in information and skills right. for people who want to right. deal with the cashew. And the more that 
the more people you create employment for in the village now. I had a proposal to Adam Abaro. He's the president of Gambia. And this is a short, a short story I'm going to make. <laughs> Adam Abaro was my landlord for two years in Bacao mm. before he became president. Oh. When he became president, we moved to another place here. But he knows the cake. He, he has bought tons of cake from me. And he says, Doctor, when you, when you, when you, you know, I uh, saw him, once, once he became president, I saw him and he was all over me. He said, this is, this is one of my tenants at the, at the, at the, at the at, you know, back out. Mm -hmm. So he said that, uh, uh, where's my cake, man? He always said, where's my cake? <laughs> I said, man, you're too high up, man. I can't get you no cake. Well, I'm going to send the guys out there to get the cake. So he sent me, <laughs> twice he sent people over here. To, I guess his wife told him because she knows it and she likes it. She mm -hmm. sent him over here to get some cake mm -hmm. and some soap. And uh, I had sent him, so he said, told me to send me a proposal. Send me something you want. So I sent him a proposal and, you know, nothing came out. That came back. And, 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 you know, I'm not a person who wants to... Uh, depend on government. Mm -hmm. That's us. Because in America, That's us. Yeah, I learned as an infant, mm -hmm. you don't go to them for nothing. That's you right. Don't have That's even right. a book of paper. That's it. That's you know. right. So uh, uh, I didn't, you know, we didn't ask him for him, but they keep bugging me to go back and talk to him and this and that. He sent me a message like three months ago. So he wanted to come and talk because somebody had pulled his coat about the cashier, but the season was over, so he said next year, you know, they come to me in December before the thing starts. And this is, I don't think I'll go to him, I'll just wait to see. Yeah, that door closed and yeah. open. Yeah, but because, because, think... because the thing is, is to is develop what you can on your own, with your own information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. And from there, if it's successful, people will buy it. That's it. That's a they, That's they'll it. come people to you. for you because you have what it takes. Exactly. That's right. That's you right. see, here in Gambia, there is no competition. There is no competition for a cashew. All they know how to do is eat it and throw mm -hmm. it. That's it. Right. That's it. And the only competition you're going to get is from Guinea-Bissau. And they make about 6 million kilos. Probably, mm -hmm. not even kilos, 6 million metric tons mm -hmm. of cashew wine. Wow. That they sell all over. Last year, Guinea Bissau made about forty-two million dollars in just cashew wine. Forty-two wow. million. Yeah. Wow. And they sell primarily in Portugal because it was a Portuguese colony. So wow. the Portuguese soldiers who were there for centuries, yeah. they know it. Mm -hmm. They pass it down. Mm -hmm. And see, the biggest, the biggest sales in, in Guinea Bissau is in December, Christmas time. <coughs> they sell probably two thirds of their inventory. To Portugal at Christmas time. Wow. That's a big market. Wow. Big market. Mm -hmm. And uh, good to know. Good and to know. Uh, I would love to get that that market in America with cash and wine and that and this mm -hmm. this kind of yeah. because you see spirit. spirit. Yeah, this could, this could be a cheap drink yeah. for that hard aguardiente. Mm -hmm. That that. That liquor in America, mm -hmm. that the winos drink. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The winos, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. And and it's and it's not wine, mm -hmm. but it is. You know, you get cashew wine, but this is a spirit. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a better kick than wine right. mm -hmm. in the winter time. Oh, that's that a sell. Yeah, yeah this real sell. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Without yeah. doubt. And you see, the thing is, is well, I know what will sell because I've been on two. You see, uh, two thousand and thirteen. I was invited to America for a food festival for 16 cities. Mm -hmm. And I took all of the stuff, cake and ice cream and wine and this and that. I sold everything. And I bet. Yeah. People were begging, you know. Oh, I can I get in touch. But you know. The demand is there. Yeah, the demand mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. But until we get, well, first of all, electricity is coming to Dar es Salaam. But when electricity comes, the enthusiasm and my momentum Mm -hmm. Would take me to a different different level. That's right. Because yeah. it's not difficult to get that grinding machine mm -hmm. from uh, uh, Alibaba. Mm -hmm. Then your your juicer, you can get that from Brazil, and then some other you know four or five other different equipment. Right. Because what I plan to do is 
bring in the, 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 the experts from Italy or from Spain who, who produce vinegar. And they will show you how to produce a higher grade of vinegar, but it will be cashew vinegar, right. which it doesn't exist on the market. Wow. Wow. So you can go worldwide with it overnight because it's quality vinegar and it's, and it's you know, you got the dog yeah. one for steak and you got the light one for fish and chicken, wow. you know. Um, we know how to do all of this. Oh. And uh, we, we will bring in four or five guys with the expert show them how to do it, mm -hmm. show them how to produce that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> do, do the same thing with ice cream. Do the same thing with candy. Because right. we have cashew candy too. Wow. You know, um, bars of candy like that we make with oat, oats, with oatmeal. Wow. And, uh, Good deal. <coughs> gotcha, man. Um, Good deal. Now, um, I'm going to jump over to something totally different now. Because, uh -huh. you know, we like the cashew idea and we all in. now. You know, we're growing snails. So I want to ask Madame, how do you prepare snails? Okay, first of all, you take out the snail from the shell. Did you cut it out no. of the shell? There's this um, hook we use, like, it's called a um, sharp mouth. A fishing hook. Yeah, thank you. Then you, you put it in there and drag it out. Pull the meat out. Thank you. Pull it out. And then afterwards, you use a um, lemon or lime, mm -hmm. squeeze in there with salt, just to bring out that, um, what is it called, the drug stuff. You need to wash that out. Oh, right. Yeah, then yeah. that salt will enable it gets very hard. Okay. You know, when it's hard, then you keep that aside. Then get um, the sauce ready, like um, tomato, what is it called? garlic, mm -hmm. all the spice you like in it, then you fry that together. You fry it? Yeah, you fry the, the what is it called, this um, sauce. You fry the sauce, after frying the sauce, then you bring that um, snail very hard already because of what you squeeze in lime, right. lemon and lime with salt makes it very hard. Um. Normally there are some people who make it very soft. It doesn't taste well. It doesn't taste well with the salt. When it's salt ah. it looks like you put bread in your mouth. And really? Milk. Like How that? do you make it salt? When you don't put the salt mm -hmm. and lemon, mm -hmm. squeeze them together and wash it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, it's not going to get hard. Oh, so okay. if you just put it inside water and wash it, it's, it's, it's going to be very hard. Yes. But when you wash it with that, it's going to be very hard. Okay. Then you mix it with the sauce and turn it, turn it, it dries up with pepper. Normally, Nigerians like a lot of papers. So a lot of papers. Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 now I didn't hear you say anything about cutting the head off. I mean, is that part of the meat? You eat the head too? The head doesn't have a head. You just divide it into two and it gives you a bigger meat. Like when you. So, the head part of the snail, mm -hmm. you eat that too. You don't cut it off like the fish head. No, you don't. You okay, don't I'm asking. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> open it up. Yeah, you open it up. That's how it is. Ah. Because when you open it up, it becomes very big. Very big, because uh -huh. the meat is inside the shell. Oh, sure. Ah. But you cut off the tail, which. You do cut off the sand, tail. Yeah. Okay. That has some sun there, so you cut so it you off. So you cut that off. Yeah. Then. Good to go. Like that? Yeah. Oh. God, I don't do the fish head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like fish head, but he yeah. doesn't. Really? She had a fish head on the plate. I'm like, no. Nah, yeah, we ain't into that either. Yeah, yeah. You know, America, they said, no, yeah. we don't eat the head. Yeah, you're right. Now, we experiment with the snail farm, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because, okay. you know, yeah. the, the, the snail farm is not only for the snail farm, but for the snail farm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the the input inputs to it is minimal. Mm -hmm. You just feed it like food scraps, like, you know, uh, vegetables mm -hmm. and fruits it's and stuff. It's in water. Huh? It's in water. The snails? Mm -hmm. No, it's like... Dirt and uh, 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 um, banana leaves. Okay. And and, and yeah. it just eats food scraps. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And the inputs are like you know minimal. Are they those big ones like you see around here? Yeah, that's walking around out here and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah, uh huh. And so you get them, and the inputs to feed them is minimal. Just they eat vegetation. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, really, they eat anything. But you want to feed them a strict diet of vegetation, you know, uh, mm -hmm. fruits and stuff like that. And it's like a high seller in France, escargot. Mm -hmm. America buys it. Nigeria, two million Nigerians like to eat it. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians like to eat it. And Gambians are starting to eat it too. So I'm like, wait a minute now. You grab them, 
-hmm. they are, are quick to reproduce, mm -hmm. and you just sell them. I mean, like it's a multi-million dollar business, and that, and all you're doing is just segregating them and feeding them uh, food scraps, mm -hmm. and then you know you you making a killing from that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I said, I'm in. It's low input. Mm. You see what I'm saying? No equipment is necessary. Exactly. All you need is boxes to segregate the big ones, mm -hmm. the babies, the middle size. And it's really expensive in Nigeria. Right. It's yeah. not just cheap. They get a certain size, yes. you put them in a bag. But you get the big size a lot. It's expensive. Like the big size five of it is like 2,000 or 3,000 naira. See what I'm saying? So you have just five of it, 3,000, and you sell all that. Right. Space. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Wow. And, and, and the price goes up during non rainy season. Mm -hmm. You see, rainy you season, know. yes, you you rainy know. season. You gotta figure it out, man. <laughs> you know, hey, man. You rainy know. season, you know, they, they're plentiful, <laughs> but when it's rainy season, you get to charge more. Right. So I said, for real? Mm -hmm. I mean, you see what I'm saying? It's Ray, so, Rick sees something with business. He, boy, he jumped right on it. Hey, he's learning so much. When he yeah. sees yeah. something he likes, he do the research. Right. Yeah, right. the African continent, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I, I remember when you started talking about the snails. Yeah. Too, the first time. Yeah. yeah, man, I mean. You started putting them in the bucket. Yeah. They're still there. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, so many now, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So we just want to separate them and stuff and uh, maybe crossbreed them. Because a lot of people are saying, you know, the Nigerian snails are bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we'll get somebody to, you know, possibly help us get them in. And right, then we'll right, crossbreed right, them. Bigger right. and darker. Right. And the so crossbreed them. Yeah. And then, you know, that's hey, move, yeah. that's it, man. I mean, it's it's, it's a, it's a do-nothing business. Right. Yeah, you know, they just sit is. there and you all they do is eat, eat yeah. until they get a certain size. Then you sell them. You sell them, yeah. It, it, ain't, it ain't like cows. It ain't not, it, you got to take them out right. there and constantly feed them grass. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Give them shots, and <laughs> then when they have babies, and man, right. you just put them in buckets and just they, let them they do their thing. Them. Do their thing, man. So let's trust. Yeah, so yeah. that's what that's what we're looking at doing. So now, uh, unless y'all have some more questions for the good doctor, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because we got, uh, you know, one more couple we need to see today before mm -hmm. we call it a day. Okay. You know, have anything else? So y'all want to say to the good doctor or say to our people that are watching this channel. I, I just respect on what Dr. Bilal is doing. Like I said, I, I was amazed when, when Rick first um, introduced you to the family. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I just want to say, you know, my, my hat's off to you. Yeah, thank you. respect. And respect. Yeah. And respect. Okay. Uh, I never knew um, there was so much to do with Kashu until today, until this minute. <laughs> you are too much. Like in Nigeria, mm -hmm. when you're like really doing so much, it's, they say you're too much, right. meaning you're too much. Mm -hmm. I hail you, yeah. That's right. You've done a good job, seriously. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. hey, you know how keep we feel up. about you. Yeah, keep it up. You know how we feel about we you. We love it. All right. Yeah. Um, sweet mom, you got anything to say and stuff? Well, I want to wrap this up with the last question now. Uh, and all y'all can feel free to jump in and at, uh, answer accordingly. Let's say there's some people in America or France or UK or Spain or Portugal or wherever that are thinking about coming to the African continent, but they're scared because, you know, the media and the propaganda. What would y'all say to the people that are thinking about coming to the African continent but are scared? Right. I, I would tell them that you, you, you're missing out on peace, love, tranquility, freedom. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't let the media uh, fool you. Because it's a, it's a lot more here than where you are. Exactly right. And, and, and I had asked Madam, I said, hey, you know, the, the media and the propaganda kind of uh, tells us that Niger Nigeria is a very corrupt place and it's, yeah. it's so much crime and scareful. And she said, that's propaganda. How they well, use that is. on the continent exactly. as a whole. They, for some reason, isolated Nigeria and try to get us fearful from going there and stuff. But what would you say to people that are thinking about coming to Africa? Um, <laughs> Africa, first of all, is a nice place to be. And Nigeria, it's a lovely place to be. The only thing I'll tell you is when you're coming to Nigeria, you've got to have the money because there's so many things. Yes, there's so many things to go around with, to see. Like, um, we have... Um, Eco Atlantic, which is very lovely. All the people living in Europe, most of them stay there. Mm. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. You can't even get there if you don't have a pass from the gate. Uh, it's that peaceful. It's, it's like nice. Dubai. Yes. Okay. It's, it's like Dubai in yes, Nigeria. It's like, yes. Wow. It's really nice. So I don't know how people get to hear Nigeria is bad. Everywhere in the world is bad. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I got married to my husband. People were saying, wow, I'm really Nigeria, America. And here we are still going. Oh, did I tell you our anniversary is on the 6th of this month? Yeah. Wow. We are still waxing stronger and stronger. There so, you go. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, Nigeria is not a bad place. Africa is not a bad place. Right. Thank you. Gotcha. But can you give the women classes on how to get on their knees, though? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you really want me to go on my knees. You really want me to go on my knees. No, he told you to stop. So, we're going to go past that. We're going to go past that. No. <laughs> He's nice. The fact, is, the fact is, whatever you want to work, like you want something to work for you, you want, in fact, the way you put your bed, that's how you lie, and is that not what to say? That's right. I, 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 I just want to make my husband the kind of man I want to. I give him right. respect. I kneel down and serve him food. He doesn't take nothing from me. Right. That's how we do it, especially in our quiet home. So we are very, very good people. Mm -hmm. Take over husband, like I said. Right. So women out and you, there, and, and you have to earn it. You have to earn that. Yes. my man, you do. You have to yes, earn. you, do. you can You can't be a rag you man. Can't be right. In and respect and treatment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Message, brothers. Message. So, so I agree take with you on that. Women. All right. You need to respect your husband, and right. then you give the love that you need. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. Mm -hmm. So, Doctor Bilal, you're the resident expert and senior. What would you say to those scary cats that say? <laughs> I like being tortured wherever I am. I ain't coming to America. I, I ain't coming to Africa because I'm scared. <laughs> what would you say to those people? Well, <laughs> I would say if you have a skill, if it's, if it's a mechanical skill, if it's a verbal skill, a musical skill, or if it's a skill in, in just, just knowledge, having knowledge to share, you will find a lot of brothers, a lot of brotherhood here in Africa. Because, like my sister say, there are bad people everywhere. Mm -hmm. right, but in right. Gambia, you have to understand, Gambia went through 2019 with only two murders in the whole country. Mm -hmm. We're in 2020, and up to September, there has not been one murder Amazing. in Gambia. Nobody's had a homicide, nobody's been murdered in Gambia. Now, crime is one thing. Petty crime. Petty, Petty crime mm -hmm. is one thing. You're going to have that wherever you go because people are hungry, especially mm -hmm. during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can assure you, the reason I'm in Gambia, because I was before Guinea-Bissau 16 years. I speak the language. I have family there. And I've lived there. But in Guinea-Bissau, everybody's got a gun stuck under his pillow or under his table or somewhere. In Gambia, there are no handguns. Nobody's going to get shot. No Uzis. No Uzis. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no police brutality. Right. No police with guns or to shoot anybody. Mm -mm. I mean, it's peaceful. And it's the only person, place I've ever lived, and I, I'm fortunate. I've been to 132 countries in my life. Mm. I've been east, west, north, and south. All Caribbean, South Pacific, you name it, the little islands, places. But I've never been to a place that is more peaceful than Gambia that wasn't on an island. And uh, we're on the mainland. Mm -hmm. And... If you get tired of Gambia, you can always go to Guinea-Bissau, you can travel to Senegal. Senegal is a whole new world. Senegal is, is people go to Senegal, they just can't believe they're, they're in Africa. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You go to Nigeria, you go to Lagos, you can't believe it's in Africa. And you can understand, Lagos has got 32, 35 million people. I mean, that's about 10 times the size of New York City. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, you couldn't tell a chaos from a funeral because they're all, you know, they're all set up, designed in a peaceful way mm -hmm. and the people mind their own business. And one thing I enjoy about being in Africa is you get here, you, you in my case, you, you struggle to learn the language. Uh, and once you learn the language, for me, it's peaceful because nobody can see anything around you that you don't understand. Right. 
And in America, that's one of the fears that Americans have, is that they only speak language, English. They say Americans are, 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 are bilingual. They speak English, and they speak nothing else. <laughs> and, and exactly. That's right. It's only one of the private conversations. Mm -hmm. right. And, and, yeah. and it's, so, it's so inclusive when you, when you can understand the things around you. If you don't learn the language, learn the amb ambience, learn the, the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, learn to, to look in somebody's face. If they got two scars on this side and two scars on the other side, we call them 1,111. Most often, <laughs> yeah, right. most often they're a fula. That's right. So, you know, wow. you learn you learn a lot of cultural things, mm -hmm. and it's a whole different world. Being here is a whole different world. In America, there's nothing to offer. They don't have nope. anything That's to decline. offer you. And decline. And and every day is the same. And people are very envious. If you have knowledge, mm -hmm. if you have material things that they don't have, and you can't explain how you got it. But uh, here, you know, it's it's peaceful. That's right. It's, you know, totally agree. Yeah, and that, if, it, if it weren't peaceful, I don't think I would have stayed here thirty something years. We would be here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Gambia was much different, much more different than Moscow was when I was living there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. And this is a world where I fit. Everybody in Gambia knows that I'm not a Gambian. When they look at me, small kid, he look at me, and sometimes they'll say, Tubab. And I'll look at him and I'll rub my skin and say, hey, does the Tubab have this color? Does the Tubab have this hair? <laughs> and they'll laugh and they'll say, okay. <laughs> that is what they'll say. You're right. That's right. So, uh, That's right. you know, I enjoy being here. I wouldn't advise anyone to come. I've had family to come. They want to come and stay. But... They, they they can't cut they can't cut that umbilical cord from America, so they got that navel button in America and they want to be outside. But it's you know in time I think many many Americans of African descent will come back to Africa. Agreed. And 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 if you got you know you have to be patient. The things you want to do, think about the things you want to do in Africa. And my advice is to start planning how to do the same thing in America. If it's a school, how would you do a school in America? If it's if it's if it's a automobile center, how would you do that? If it's a dealership, how would you? What would you do? How would you prepare it? You know, if you wanted to do a, a cooking school, how, how would you do that in America? And if you can do it in America, you can do it five, six different ways in Africa. And yes, it's, and it's. Nobody's going to stop you. Mm -hmm. You know, if I walked into a place in the Gambia or in Africa, in anywhere in Africa, and I say, "Hey, they won't let me do this job because of the color of my skin," they'll mm -hmm. laugh at you all day and probably mm -hmm. couldn't laugh. That's right. They, mm -hmm. the color of your skin. What? 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 You know. Yeah. <laughs> you, know you know, it just That's doesn't right. exist. You know, colors. Yeah. Colors not a, an issue. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's my advice to to my good brothers and sisters right. in Thank America. You. Thank you. Well said, guys. Well said. All right, guys. We're about to end this. Now, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Share the video. <laughs> Share the video with a friend. Comment. And subscribe. 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 All right, guys. Now, you know we're into a new month. And last month, we didn't hit our goal of 50,000 subscribers. Yes. 50,000 different people around the world. We didn't hit that goal, we were short, okay? We were 6,000 off, so we ended the month with about 44,500, so, 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 whatever. But this is a new month, and we're shooting for 50,000 subscribers this month. Why do we need 50,000 subscribers this month, guys? Because we want 100,000 by December, okay? You gotta go through 50,000 to get to 100,000, right? That's right. So that's my rationale and stuff, all right? So family, uh, we always end our videos with Love. Yeah. Peace. No, turn that around. No, mm -mm, nothing. Right. Turn it around like that. Yeah, there you go. Peace. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to look at the camera and say that. Do we need to practice that or we everybody got it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, we're going to look at the camera and say it all together. 
All right, family. <laughs> I saw the little alarm go up like, okay. We're gonna let you get that drink then. We, you ready? Go ahead, take another sip. I'm good. You ready? All right. Family, y'all know who we end our videos with. Love. Uh, no, look at the camera, Dr. Bilal. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, let her get a little of that camera, just a little bit. Okay, come on. All right. No, you, you, you got to come in a little bit more now. We want everybody to see everybody's handsome and beautiful face because we at Black Acres of the Gambia believe in black men, black women, black babies, okay? So you know how we end our videos, guys, with love, love peace, peace, soul. See y'all next video, guys. Bye, bag. Bag, bag, bag. Bye. Bye. Dr. Bilal, you mind hitting that red square for us? It's getting it so long.